The advanced software provides a batch function tool that allows users to perform several common tasks in a batch method to help increase efficiency. One of the batch features available is importing files. Importing files in batch will save time when working with files that contain similar data. In this tutorial, you will learn how to import files in batch and the different options available in the import process. To begin, go to the Tools menu and select Batch Command Utility, or click on the Batch Command Utility icon in the main toolbar. The Batch Command Utility dialog will now open, where you will see all available batch commands listed. Select the batch command you would like to run and click OK. For this example, we will click on Import Files. The Select Batch Import Files window will now open. You have two options to choose from regarding what management settings to use. Prompt for management settings for each file, and Don't Prompt for individual management settings. Prompt for management settings for each file will allow you to select the location you want to save each file to in the management tree. So at the start of processing each file, you will be prompted to select the location to save the imported data to. If you have boundaries established for your fields, you can use the Auto Select Grower, Farm, and Field button, and it will auto select the location in the management tree by spatial location. If you select Don't Prompt for Management Settings, you will not be able to set the management settings for each file. You will instead set the management location to save the first imported file to, and after that all others will save to the same location. If you have boundaries set up, you can spatially sort the information after the import process is complete and it will be moved to the proper location. Oftentimes, this option is quicker than setting management settings for each file when working with a large number of files. Next, select the Import File Format Type. You can choose from the following formats. CSV, DBF, Map Info, Shape, and Text Files. After choosing the appropriate file format, click the Add button and navigate to where the files are stored. After selecting all desired files, click Open. All selected files will now be displayed. If you have previously set up a template that you would like to use when importing the selected files, place a check in the Use Template box and use the Browse button to select the saved template. Click OK after making all selections. In this example, we will import shape files without a template. The Import Preview dialog will now open and display a preview of the data contained in the first file. Click Next if the preview is correct. The Select Import Type window will open where you can choose where you would like to save this data to and what type of data it is. After making your selections, click Next. The Assign Columns to Import dialog will now open. This screen will be used to map any data contained in the file you are importing to attributes and properties in the software. You will use the Assign Column button to link any columns you wish to be able to map once the import process is complete. This step is the same as when importing a single file into the software. Click Next after assigning all desired columns. The Import Clipping Options dialog will now open. After choosing to either clip by field, by farm, or to perform no clipping, click the Next button. The following windows will vary depending on what Management Settings option you selected in the first step. If you selected to be prompted for each file, you will now be prompted after each file is processed to enter the Management Settings. If you select it to not be prompted, then you will enter the management information for the first file and all other files will be saved to the same location. Your files will now be processed into the software. Once the processing is complete, the imported files will be available to view in the management tree. These datasets will be available to use in maps, reports, 
queries, and analysis functions. You have now learned how to import and save files using the batch command utility. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.